Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Jean Cook. We're going to do the Astrology Celtic Cross for him and see what comes up for his reading. Let's have a look. I'm going to do a shorter reading, so I'm not going to do his partner. It's just going to be for him. Sun sign, self, hermit. So he may be healing some issues here. He may be healing himself, maybe his self-worth. Let's look at his moon, his heart. What's in his heart here? Oh, yeah, he's still healing. So he's definitely going over things in his life to see what is going on for him and what maybe his next steps are here. His rising sign, how he looks. He has the six of swords. So he may be... When it comes to his rising sign, he may be having some, I'm kind of feeling like backing up or moving forward, kind of moving forward on how people maybe view him. This is, this is someone that has to look a certain way, right? So looks are very important when it comes to things. So I'm feeling like he takes a lot of time for that. We also have the star. So he's definitely in public eye, obviously. I mean, <laughs> right? So Mercury, what does he feel or what does he think here? Okay, so maybe he's thinking about the past, somebody from his past. So this has to do with maybe a love because it is the cups loving memories of someone special in his life so there is somebody special to him what did we get yeah ten of swords so he feels like he may have killed that romance i feel like he thinks he it's something that can't be repaired here with the ten of swords he may have betrayed her in some way, or she betrayed him. Let's see. What's the Venus? How, how does he love here, this Venus? Oh, well, he's got the Ace of Cups, which is, he does love hard. Like, he, it's very beautiful, actually. It's like a blessing when he loves. He actually waits he's waiting for that special one and he seems to be thinking about someone from his past he's waiting for his ships to come in to meet that person but he is thinking about someone from his past so how does he deal with life is mars oh. okay wow <laughs> He's got the Nine of Pentacles, so he's very confident and self-assured and satisfied with how things are in his life. And then the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, wins the race. He's not in a big rush, um, and he thinks things through, I'm feeling. He may have a lot of earth energy here. There's a little bit of everything. Um, more air and earth let's see a little bit of fire too how's his luck he may have felt like he may have gotten stabbed in the back at some point when it comes to luck he may not have felt lucky in his younger days here oh okay so another one wants to come yeah it comes with love with the king of cups here so he may feel unlucky in, when it comes to love. Okay, so Saturn and his discipline here. Wow, the tower. So <laughs> I feel like he's, his discipline is huge change. And when he does something, it's an upheaval. Um, not that there's so much drama, but change is good i feel like he embraces change he's very disciplined when it comes to things even when things go wrong i feel like he's has his discipline on how to handle it 
the best course of action to take. Nice. How about how unique he is, his Uranus sign? All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles. So he's a team player. Um, I really felt that way about him before when I did a reading. So this is kind of what I picked up on him before. That team player um, wanting to help people. I feel like it's like that is something you don't see every day. Not everybody has that quality. That's pretty unique, rare. What's this palace? Is relationships. Yeah, he's the page of swords. So he will watch, learn, and collect information first. He's not one to be impulsive, I feel. He's very calm, cool, and collected. And with the swords, he's good with his communication. So he may talk to other people about something when it comes to relationships. He may get other people's input, even though he should go within his own heart. He is more on the lookout of maybe what's in his heart. He's looking for that person that's going to capture his heart when it comes to relationships. So he's going to watch and learn, I feel. What's the Juno, the influences? <laughs> Two of Swords. So he may have that inner conflict of maybe not having enough information. And that's where he's watching, right? Taking the look, watching people and collecting that information. I feel like the outside influences, he may listen to what other people say, but he's going to do what's right for him in the end. So he still has that conflict of making a decision, right? Because he may have hear what other people say and it might conflict with what he's feeling. So I feel like it's still a bit of a struggle because he may not, that blindfold is on, right? So not in this picture, mind you, but in the traditional sense. Their eyes are closed though. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both cracking into this walnut not a walnut maybe uh, some type of nut here anyways uh, it's conflicting and their eyes are shut <laughs> so this wanted to come too and the nine of cups so it's about his happiness I feel like looking for that tenth cup What's his Vesta, his potential here? The world. So I feel like he's got the world in the palm of his hand. He can pretty much do free will when it comes to potential. Like there's sky's the limit. There's no end here. I know with the world that means endings and new beginnings for some, but it doesn't necessarily mean that all the time. It could be a new path that he's going to take. It could be um, a new beginning. It could be a whole different ball game here. And I feel like it's the world is his oyster and he can, he's going to find the pearl, right? So what's his path li past life, his south node? Mm, he had a very loving relationship in his past life his sort south node so what's his mid heaven career here ah he has boundaries he's got standards i feel like he's i wouldn't say high maintenance but having standards doesn't mean you're high maintenance you just know what you want and you're not going to have anything less than what you deserve or want in your life and that's that's just being confident in what you just know what you want. Not everybody knows what they want in their life, but he definitely knows what he wants in his life. And I feel like he's got that, those boundaries and behind him with that. What's his hidden emotions, his Lilith? 
Mm. Ten of Wands. So he may feel burden when it comes to hidden emotions. And you may have to voice those because I see a lot of communication here with the swords, a lot of air energy here. So I kind of feel like he's one to hatch things out. Um, and it's going to be with somebody that he really trusts when it comes to his hidden emotions. He may even hide that from his friends and work that out on his own, but he's going to feel burdened because of it. What's his north node, his current life? balance and justice here hello that is libra so he's very <laughs> i love this analytical i'm gonna say that because i feel like he's definitely um a thinker and when it comes to his current life he has his um shadow and his light side and it's balanced he's he's done the work he's healed twice here with the hermit and the healing with the four of swords so he's definitely i feel um very balanced and i feel like he might even be ready soon to take on that real meaningful relationship now let's see what's on the bottom of the deck <laughs> for transformation his Pluto is the bottom of the deck here and it is the moon <laughs> so this could be secrets or hidden agenda or it could mean just that he's very intuitive and can see things I feel like he's very um, mysterious even this is beautiful though he's he's definitely i kind of feel like very hard to pin down like he's very um elusive um mysterious so and keep you guessing <laughs> so but that is what i have for him today so i'm gonna end it here and I'm going to do another one that is a shorter video of the astrology Celtic cross. And I think I will do, I might even do um, Haley Beaver and Justin Bieber, Bieber and uh, do a twin flame with that one. It will be a bit longer. I might even do another one of these for the k-pop fans so <laughs> all right guys don't forget to give me that thumbs up and don't forget to share like and subscribe stay blessed and we'll see y'all next time all right later